everyone, it's Melissa Peter Paul. Um, I'm going to show you how to make the eight pointed star um, out of quill work. But first, I want you to soak your quills in some water, uh, maybe for about five minutes, and then we'll get started. Now that the quills have been soaking, we're going to take our little pin and you're going to put it in the center and kind of just roll it around just to make sure that it's big enough for the quill to go through. So I'm going to do one, two, three. So I'm going to make like just a letter I. So I've grabbed two quills from the water. I'm going to put them together. And if you can, you can insert them together. So from behind, I'm just going to pull slowly as you can see on top. I'm just pulling, you can pull them both at the same time or one at a time. And then I'm going to bend one over. I always like to hold my tweezers like this. I'm going to bend one over and insert it into the hole. I'm going to turn it around, bend it over, and then insert it into the hole. And then pull. So that's what it should look like first you guys can see. So this is what it looks like in the back so far. So you don't have to cut anything yet. I'll let you know when to cut. So next, I'm going to insert a hole kind of right beside the middle. So now we're going to make the shape um, a letter T. So I grab one more porcupine quill, I insert it into that hole, I pull gently in the back, bend it over and then pull again. See? So I make that hole again. I grab another piece of quill, bend it, and insert. So now we have our letter T. So the next step is we're going to be cutting the pie. That's what I call this. So we're going to be going like this. Oh, I forgot to put a hole there. So just like before, I'm going to put a hole close to the middle, in between these two quills, like that. See? And you're gonna wanna follow that step all the way. So one, two, three. Now that I've got all the pie sliced, you can see it? So this is what it's going to look like from behind. You can hold all of the quills in the center and cut them off now because we're not going to need to um, use that part anymore, but we're going to be using these. So now the next step is we're going to be putting the points on. So what I like to do is I make the hole big. I grab two quills. I insert them into the bark. And then I'm going to connect them to here and here. So sometimes I can get them in um, without poking the hole again, but most times I have to like make the hole a little bit bigger. But before I do that, I'm always going to bend the quill back in the back. Because if you pierce it, then you're going to break this quill and you're going to have to replace it again. So every time you have to um, insert another quill to where another quill is, you want to make sure it's bent back. So you can kind of see the hole better. And just pull gently. And then we're going to go to this one. We're going to pull it back. 
and pop it there. So you just want to repeat that step. I'll just show you um, one more time. You you can insert two at a time or you can do one at a time if you feel more comfortable. So this is me just inserting one at a time. It's a little bit more tricky when you have to put three quills into one hole, but just take your time. Uh, you can use your little pin to make the hole bigger, but just make sure you're bending the quills in the back and moving them out of the way. So I'm going to try this again. All right. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is just I'm going to follow the same step and complete the star. And then I'll come back and show you how to sew the sweet grass on. So I'm just getting ready to put the last two quills on to complete this last point. So there you have it. There's your quilled eight pointed star. And this is what it looks like on the back. So what you're going to do is just hold the quills. I like to hold the quills um, so I can control the cut. Because if you don't hold the quills, um, they're going to go flying everywhere and they could get into your clothes and that's no fun. So you're going to want to put two or three knots at the end of your sinew. So that's um, this that came in your package. All right, you're not gonna double your thread. So the first step, I come from the bottom and I pull it through. So there's an extra step that I do. So in between two of these holes where you're going to sew the sweetgrass on, I go in between I do that just so when I'm sewing my sweetgrass on, I'm always sewing down the down into the bark. So the first step is you're going to make two loops. You're going to make two loops like that. There was a whole step that I, I skipped. Um, so once you have the loops there, you're going to slide the sweet grass through and then tighten the loops and then continue sewing. So now I'm going to be sewing uh, the starting of the sweet grass in with the end. It just makes for a neater finish. So I'm in, I'm back to where I started. So what I want to do now is go in that same hole three times. So it's one, two, three. Then I'm going to flip it around and I kind of just go under all of those um, and then I go through my hoop and then I pull this way and I just make a knot. 
So you can do that once or you can do that twice. I like to do it twice. And now you can cut your sinew. And you can cut your sweet grass. So I like to cut it on an angle. Just make sure that you don't cut that sinew because then you have to start all over again. So this is what it looks like. Thank you everyone for following along and purchasing my quilt kit. Um, so this is what the finished product is gonna look like. And then you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna put hot glue around it quickly and then center it onto your mat and then you're done. Make sure you sign your work when you're all finished and ready to frame it. Um, thanks everyone. Thank you.